that is conducive to thunderstorms moving into Phoenix from the east. So we're watching thunderstorms coming in from Pinal County, and we do have a severe thunderstorm watch out for you folks in Phoenix. Also, Atlanta, still under a severe thunderstorm watch tonight. Also, it looks like Savannah, you are included in this watch, too. Most of the severe weather is out of the Atlanta metro area now. A few isolated thunderstorms still going on, but the real good stuff, the real severe stuff is south of you and to the northwest of you now. And again, these storms are moving off to the southwest, kind of unusual. These storms come in from the northeast, from an upper-level disturbance that actually rotated around an upper-level high that moved across the region. So that's the way our storms are moving. Now we're getting some heavy rainfall, but we need the rainfall here, so that is some good news, and hopefully, they're high, so hopefully this rain is helping out. Now, farther west into Phoenix, again, the storm's now moving into Maricopa County. I don't believe any warnings are out for you folks right now, but earlier we had a tornado warning in Pinal County. That has been allowed to expire here. Folks in Tucson, finally, after winds gusting close to 50 miles per hour here, you are in the clear. The storm's heading off to the west again. Now, right along our front, we're still seeing thunderstorms uh, around the St. Louis area and also here into Kansas and actually Sedgwick County, which is just around the Wichita area, under a tornado warning as well as a flash flood warning tonight. So these storms, they have a lot of juice to work on, so they're putting down some very heavy rainfall as well. Houston, you're getting hit hard too with thunderstorms tonight. So watch. Now we probably need to beef this up a little bit. We're seeing already some reports of over an inch, up to two inches falling in some cases, so watch out for very heavy rainfall from these storms here tonight, even in the southeast, also into Texas. Lows tonight will be mild. We're not talking about any cold air anywhere. 80s and 90s for highs again tomorrow in the northeast, finally getting that cool down. Terry, I've been canceled. Now, thunderstorms extend from New England all the way into the desert southwest tonight. The southeast also getting their fair share of thunderstorms. If you are traveling along 75 from Cincinnati southward into Atlanta, you're going to hit some thunderstorms. You may get a break in Kentucky, but once you get into Tennessee, you'll hit thunderstorms. Atlanta, even some flooding problems there tonight. So the whole southeast, scattered thunderstorms. There may be. Now we do have we do have severe thunderstorm watches out still for you folks in Boston, also Atlanta, Phoenix, all under watches tonight. That just means large hail, damaging winds. Uh, you probably don't want to be in your car caught in one of these storms. So just hold on tight and wait till they pass. Wait till the watches are canceled or allowed to expire before you venture out this evening. A large portion of the country getting some rain tonight. Some of it has been heavy, two inches or so in some cases. Now, we do expect fog to settle in behind this, but that's going to cause some problems out there tonight. And severe weather, this is where we expect it this evening. Stay tuned. Well, let's talk about your weekend. Well, we have some great news. If you don't like the triple-digit heat in the Northeast, look at the Saturday forecast. New York City, maybe low 80s for you folks. In the 70s in Boston. The heat will continue, though, across the deep south. So you know what that means if you've got ball games going on this weekend. Plenty of fluids. Take a lot of breaks, too, and keep an eye on the kids and the elderly, too, because it's still going to be pretty hot and sticky here across the deep south. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Keeping also a close.